Hello beautiful people, my name is Nick, aka the one only Crisis YT, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a thumbnail. Now, there's a billion different ways that I could do this, there's a billion different things that I could do, but I'm going to give you guys a few different ways to do the background, a few different ways to do the text, and then you can kind of mix and match and, and do everything how you want to do. Um, I do every thumbnail differently and custom, so let's go ahead and get started. First off, we want to go up here and go to File, New, and then we want to go to film and video. It's already selected here, but film and video, and then HDV slash HDTV 720p. Now, the reason we do that is so we gonna, we're going to have a big enough screen, and whenever you hit right-click, stop download, the thumbnail is going to look good. On this video, if you right-click on it and click stop download, you'll see this thumbnail we're about to make. And um, you'll notice it looks really good. It looks clear because that's what the YouTube resolution is, 720p. So let's go ahead and uh, first off, let's put our text in. So you're going to click the text tool over here on the left-hand toolbar and uh, just drag it as big, you know, about as big as the, uh, the whole entire workspace you have here. And how to make a thumbnail in Photoshop. Okay, so no one. That looks good. That's pretty, you know, spaced out. We have uh, our custom. I, I don't use these settings for everything. I'm actually going to make this a bit bigger. Um, and so just go over here, and this is how big your text is, and this is how much space is in between the lines, as you'll see here. And uh, I always keep this down a little bit because I just think it looks better. And uh, so there you have it. There is basically the thumbnail. Now, these lines can prove as guidelines, kind of center it in the middle. And uh, now let's get working on the background. First thing first, though, I want to make this black. So let's highlight that, make it black, and boom, there we have it. So now we're going to uh, get working on the background. So click on the background layer, and uh, let's do like this weird kind of like polar effect where there's lines going all the way around. I'll show you guys here in a second. But the colors we want to do this, I think, are red and white. So we need to click that, click on the gradient tool right here drag it down and boom so there we have it that's not what I'm wanting to do but that is you could upload that as a thumbnail it doesn't look too bad so um, now we want to go up here to filter distort where's distort there it is filter distort wave now there's a ton of different ways you can do this I literally do this at random every single time nothing is ever set in stone with me um, when I do thumbnails basically you can just play around with this and see what you want to do, but it's going to have the same kind of effect anything you do. Just make sure this is max and this is max and, and you're fine. You can, I think you can even play around. Yeah, you can even play around with the wavelengths. So we're just going to go with these settings. doesn't have to be these settings. You can copy these if you want, but really just play around with it and, and see what you can do. As long as these two are maxed out, you can change the generators up, you can change the wavelengths up, and it's all fun. But uh, I would actually recommend doing something about like that if you want it to be perfect. But I don't like it to be perfect. I like it to be, you know, kind of random looking and, and everything like that. So like that right there. So, okay. And now you're going to be like, that doesn't that doesn't look good. What are you doing, Nick? Now we need to go up here to filter, distort, polar coordinates. Okay. Click OK. Boom. Now that is a decent looking thumbnail. I actually kind of like that. Now you can do this in any color. How your colors are determined is by what you drug down on the screen. So, you know, what you did right here that's how your colors are determined so there you have it that's one way you could do this thumbnail let's go ahead and look at another way alright so now let's try something else I've selected two new colors here a green and a yellow and we're gonna see how this looks now again we do need to drag this down like this that's something you have to do every time just click gradient and drag down and there you go you you're done and uh, let's go ahead and put like a cloud looking type background render clouds and you see now it's kind of like different and pixel kind of like not pixelated but there's some yellow and green and it's mixed let's go ahead and switch that up a bit and let's do like a green and a uh, and a white and we're gonna see how this looks green white and uh, let's drag that down and filter again render clouds and there you know you can see that too that looks pretty good there is a ton of different ways you can do these thumbnails. We could even do the thumbnail again with uh, the green and white like we just did it. Filter, distort, wave, and uh, let's make it a bit more, you know, a bit more sane this time. It's actually, I need to undo what I just did, so give me a second. All right, there's that. And uh, now we can go to filter and then distort, wave again, and uh, let's make it a little bit more 
little bit more sane this time, if you will. And uh, we'll do that right there, those straight up and down lines. This is what you'll see a lot of YouTubers doing with their thumbnails. Not this, but this right here. Filter, distort, polar coordinates, and boom. I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing thumbnails like this. This is what's in right now, and uh, if you want to do that, you can. There's a ton of different ways to do thumbnails. Now, I'm going to go get some photos offline, and uh, I'll show you how to make you know, this thumbnail with like a picture of Photoshop in the background. I'm actually not going to get it offline. I'm just going to screenshot this page, and then, uh, and then we'll be good. So, let's go ahead and do that. So here we have a screenshot of Photoshop. I just simply screenshotted my whole page, and uh, here it is in Photoshop. So we're going to take this. This is the Select tool. We're going to drag this across our whole entire image, and then hit Control-C, or I guess you could go right-click. Um, can you go right-click copy? No, I, I think you have to hit Control-C. And then go over here to this, Control-V. That's on top of our current image, our, our current text. We'll fix that here in a second. But first, let's put this, um, make this fit to size. We're going to hit Control T, and then we're going to just slide this down, get it up here in the corner, and then slide this all the way to that corner. So there we go. Um, it's that simple. Now we have a screenshot of Photoshop in Photoshop, and we're going to use this as our thumbnail. Now, down here on our layers, we need to take and move the text layer above, and boom. There you have it. That is, uh, that's the thumbnail. And uh, that's the thumbnail now you guys are actually going to be seeing. So, nevertheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. There's a ton of different ways to make a thumbnail. I know towards the end it might have gotten a little confusing, and I'm sorry if it did. But uh, if you have any questions, anything at all, tell me in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. I'm CrisisYT, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here are two Halo videos you guys may have missed. On the left is going back to Halo 3. In that video, I'll play some Halo 3, have some fun, and pwn some noobs. So go check out that video. And on the right is a Halo 4 video in which I talk about the new Halo 4 weapons tuning and uh, my favorite parts about that. So both of those are amazing videos. Go check them out, even if you don't like Halo. Nevertheless, guys, I'm CrisisYT. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'm out. Peace.